guys, Jamie here from InstaChef123. Hope you're all doing great. Today we're gonna to be making a chicken handy. This is a traditional Indian dish that you cook in one pot. So simple to do. Here we go, let's get cooking. And as always, if you get enjoyment out of this video, give it a thumbs up, give it a like, hit the subscribe button. Let's get cooking. So what we're gonna need for this, we're gonna need, uh, here we've got a kilo of chicken leg. I'm using the leg meat for this. Use the leg meat, trust me guys, so much, so much better. You'll get it, it's more authentic, it's more tasty, okay? Uh, we've got some cubed garlic and ginger here. Now, this is uh, frozen, you can buy this in any supermarket. It's dirt cheap, it's fantastic, really quick and easy. Coriander, staple. Four medium-sized onions, three tomatoes. Now this is called basar, this is Pakistani basar curry masala this is absolutely fantastic it's got so many so many so many if you can see on there I don't know if you can see that there's absolutely everything you would want in there okay this is super I can't recommend this highly enough uh, we're going traditional so I'm actually going to use some uh, butter ghee all right it might not be the healthiest but do you know what this will be the tastiest curry you've ever had and of course some uh, garam masala you all know what garam masala looks like. Garam masala, okay. Right, so I'm gonna dice these onions and then we're gonna get cooking, okay? So into our pan, we've gone in with three tablespoons of the ghee and we're just gonna gently melt this. Okay, the ghee's melted. We're gonna go in with the onions. Now don't worry if you think this is, whoa, there's a load of onions here. This is going to make your gravy. This is this is what makes the gravy. Any base gravy for Indian cooking, it's always lots of onions. We're going to cook these on a medium heat. I'm just going to stir this around, get the butter in, get that ghee in, and then we're just going to put this on a low heat. For about half an hour. To cover it up, put the pan lid on, leave it for about half an hour, but keep an eye on it because what you want to do is you want to stir it about every five or six minutes. Right guys, once our uh, onions are cooking, I'm just going to take a teaspoon of salt onto this chicken, like that, and then I'm just going to rub that in Really give it a really good rub in to all the meat, and then we're just going to leave that to one side. Right, I'm just giving this a uh, a stir. I say every five six minutes, just keep giving it a stir because what you don't want it to do is you don't want it to burn. Okay, but you do want this to just brown off a little bit. Okay. Okay, so starting to get a bit of colour here now on these onions. A little bit of browning. Nice caramel colour, beautiful. Right, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go in with the tomatoes, all nicely chopped. Tomatoes in there, give that a stir. And also our garlic and ginger, throw that in. Now we don't need to add any more moisture at the minute. No, we don't need to add any water at the minute because the moisture will come out of the tomatoes. So again, keeping the heat on a on a lowish, low to medium heat, you, you do not want to rush this dish. It takes a little bit of time, but trust me, this is just curry heaven. Lid back on. Keep checking it every five six minutes. Okay, let's give it a stir. Just let that water from your, your pan lid drip in there, that's all good. Lovely. That's great. And as you can see, it's not burning. Because you're doing this on a low heat, it's not gonna burn. Unless your pan is like really old and sticky. <laughs> but again, just keep turning it, you know? 
every five or six minutes. This is a labor of love. Food is love. Take your time with this and as I say, you're gonna be really, really, really happy with this dish. Okay, lid back on. That's absolutely eaten. Right, let's stir again. Okay, we're just starting to stick a little bit to the bottom now. So I'm just gonna add a touch of water. Just a touch. What we don't want, you don't want this to burn. You don't want that burnt flavour in there. That's something you definitely do not want. Okay, now, at this stage, we're gonna go in with our Bizarre Spice Mix. Going in with a tablespoon and a half one and a half teaspoons, Jamie, not one and a half tablespoons. If you like it vindaloo file strength, then go for one and a half tablespoons. One and a half teaspoons. Okay. Of our Basarmax. Basarmax? Basarmix. Basarmax. Okay. I'm going to stir that in. Now we're just going to continue to cook this for a couple of minutes with the lid off, keeping an eye on it, making sure it doesn't burn. Right, so this has been going a couple of minutes. The smell is incredible. And after this I'm going to add half a pint of cold water. Stir that in. Again, we're gonna let this simmer for a good 30 minutes. Put the lid back on. Just keep checking it every five, ten, five, six minutes. Right, so after about uh, 15 minutes, I'm just gonna add a teaspoon of garam masala. I'm going to stir that in. And then let that cook. Let's see, just keep your eye on it. Let that cook for about another 15 minutes. Okay, so after about half an hour, I'm going to go in with a teaspoon of ground paprika. I'm just adding this for a little bit more flavour and also for that really nice sunset golden colour that this curry is going to produce. Stir that in like so and now we're going to go in with our chicken. And all we're going to do here is just stir around and coat that chicken. Keep this on a low heat, okay? Coat the chicken. Cover it back up. Keep checking it every 10 minutes. Give our curry a stir. Beautiful. Gonna go in now with another half pint of water. Stir that around. Covered up like that. Let that simmer. This is a low and slow curry. It's going to be beautiful. Right, so after about half an hour, I'm just going to add to this a teaspoon of cumin powder and then an extra teaspoon. 
garam masala. I did forget to mention the cumin powder. I like to add the cumin powder a little bit later in the cooking process just to really bring out the flavour. Give that a stir. And once again, just leave it to simmer. Okay, so about 20 minutes in, and now starting to get that gravy. See, that lovely gravy. The chicken's cooking beautifully. Ooh, steamy, steamy. I absolutely love coriander. So I'm just gonna go in with a good couple of pinches of finely chopped coriander. I am gonna add more on the end as well. You just want those flavors to really get into all that chicken. Just gonna check it for salt. Beautiful. I'm gonna add half a teaspoon of salt, like so. And that will really bring out all the flavors, all the flavor of the chili. get to a really nice consistency. I'm just going to check the chicken. Okay, I'll say about another, another 20 minutes and that handy is going to be ready. Let's put the lid back on. Okay, let's have a look. Ooh. I think we're done. Turn off the heat. You see how all that beautiful ghee has come to the surface like that. Fantastic. Let's dish this up. And there we have it. A beautiful chicken handy. Let's just top that with a little bit of chopped coriander. If you like me, a little bit more. There we have it, guys. Chicken handy. Yes, please. So there we go. Beautiful, authentic chicken handy. You can make yourself at home. As always, guys, if you've enjoyed this video, Please give it a like, subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends, and I'll see you again real soon for another delicious recipe. Take care.